West Coast failed in a bid to send retired big stars Luke Shuey, Shannon Hearn and NIC Naitanui a winning note, and while West Coast won AFL board championship, end of term also kept pressure on coach Adam Simpson to keep his job spoon. The Eagles lost 17.21-12.6 to Adelaide and conceded their last eight goals of the night. North Melbourne's upsetting win over Gold Coast earlier in day sent Eagles back to bottom of standings, and although they were up 11 points in first half, they were unable to stop visitors' second-half offence. Camera icon West Coast coach Adam Simpson Paul Kane, this is West Coast's second wooden spoon, and it's also fifth time since they entered AFL in 1987 that bottom of ladder has changed in final round. Eagles fans came to bid farewell to Shuey, Hearn, and Naitanui after their stellar careers. He was unable to play due to a tramp injury, but both Shuey and Hearn received a standing ovation when the ball was in their hands. Shuey smashed home after scoring fantastic first-quarter goal with a left foot to give his last game dreamy start. Simpson happily punched the sky when he saw his captain score. The crowd showed approval when Simpson also appeared on screen. Camera icon Luke Shuey scores with his left foot Daniel Wilkins Western Australia The Crows were wildly off target with 5.10 in the first half and their other five shots didn't even score. The West End were significantly more productive at half-time despite having 10 fewer points in the 50s. Honour through action was written on West Coast whiteboard and the Eagles played desperate football for most of night. This was summed up in Andrew Gaff's terrific chase fight against Josh Rochelle. Camera icon Andrew Gaff embarks on a desperate fight credits Paul Kane Crow got the ball with no opponent in sight, jumped twice, and couldn't believe it when Gaff knocked him down. The West Coast Crows hunted. The club's first goal of the game came after Jack Petrichell lost the ball in a desperate attempt. The Crows' final hopes were over, but Taylor Walker still had a chance to win the Coleman medal. She needed a bag given that Charlie Curnow was eight goals behind and Blues wouldn't be playing until the final game of round. Walker had just two goals in first half, but rushed line to take first place in nine majors and took Coleman medal lead, while Crows controlled second half and escaped with a 45-point win. Camera icon Taylor Walker had a great night. Shuey finished the game with 25 steals, four shots and a goal. Hearn had 22 balls and had won 506 metres on defence. All eyes will now be on Simpson's future and whether he has done enough to keep the board going.